Across the country, most of the mortuaries at public health facilities are in dire state today. Now, with the available legal framework and government policy that encourages public-private partnerships in the development and management of some projects, funeral service providers say that within the health sector, mortuaries and generally handling the dead is one of the areas that can be considered. I think what this concept has brought is that uh, it, has ha it has brought some uh, dignity to the death. If you do recall when we used to go to our, to our public places, you used not even want to go to visit your loved one. You know, it was very scary. You know, you would move around uh, bodies. So it was really it, uh, not a sight to, to go to. Drawing from the collaboration the company has with Mango Hospital, where A-plus group has a funeral home, Zake says the same model can be used to improve service provision in public health facilities while saving administrators time to focus on core objectives. So when you have such a facility, then you know that they will be, you'll be handled properly. So to take it further is that if this concept could be transferred to other hospitals, I think it would be a value added. And what we did with Mengo Hospital, we went into it more like a public-private partnership. They gave us the space and the, the building, which we renovated, and then brought in our expertise. Even with a budget allocation of 1.27 trillion shillings in the concluding financial year, the health ministry is still not yet sufficiently funded with key segments touching on treatment of major diseases like cancer, struggling to extend the service. With such realities, experts believe it's time that government considered outsourcing non-core services like mortuary management through partnerships.